Hello and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Liz, a disability policy for all. Today we had the great fortune to to be into to interview Sam Crane, who is the policy director mm -hmm. at ASAM, which is the Autistic Sub FC Network. Now Let's go into talking about um, legislation. Um, what are ASAN's um, policy goals for this Congress? Well, we have a few, um, and some of them are actually um, for the Congress in Washington, D.C., and some of them are going to be on at the state by state uh, legislatures. So uh -huh. Um, the ones in Washington, D.C. that we're interested in, uh, one thing that Congress is looking at right now is the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. Um, a lot of people call it No Child Left Behind because that's part of it. And um, it's really about all kids, but one thing we're very interested in is making sure that when schools are held accountable for making sure that kids are learning, uh, we want people with disabilities to be included in that. So we don't want a situation where you know schools feel like they have to be responsible for educating all kids except for people with disabilities and they'll get like a pass on the kids with disabilities. We want everyone to be included in that. Um, another law that we're interested in passing is the Community Integration Act and that would help make sure that everyone has a right to community services like a person to come to their home and um, you know help them get dressed if they need help getting dressed help them go around in the community if they need you know someone helping them in order to stay in their own home um, they should have that kind of service so that they don't have to go to a nursing home or an institution. So that's another uh, law that we're very interested in. And um, the final one in Washington that we really care about is the TIME Act. The TIME Act would make it illegal um, for, for employers to pay people with disabilities less than minimum wage. And right now, a lot of people with disabilities are getting paid very little money, like less than a um, dollar an hour a lot of the time. And that's unfair because everyone else, other than people with disabilities, or almost everyone else, um, is you know, required to be paid at least a certain amount Per hour it's much higher so we want to make sure that you know over time that kind of discrimination will become illegal and everyone will get a fair wage um, so there are also a few things that aren't in Congress okay. but they're still important laws um, one of them is um, last year Congress passed a law called the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity yeah. Act and one of the things that it uh, included was um, that it was it put uh, a lot of limits on when schools could send people to these sheltered workshops after school. Sheltered workshops are the places where people um, are being paid less than minimum wage usually, and they don't have much opportunity um, to be with the rest of the community. And um, that law is already passed, but they need to um, pass something called regulations that will make sure that it's actually effective and enforced. So that's a big part of what we do, is we go to the federal agencies like the Department of Labor and the Department of Education and we say, you know, these laws that already exist, you've got to make sure that um, you, you explain what they mean so that everyone can follow them. Okay. Great. And I think um, AUCD, which this um, 
I represent AUCT, I think, has similar goals as you, yeah. you have. We've been working with AUCT on some of them. Yeah. Um, how, and the final question, unless you have more questions, is um, how do ASAN come up with their policy goals? Um, for example, um, AUCD has a um, committee that they get together um, once or one month to talk about what kind of goals that they want. Do you have something like that? Yeah, and we have a lot of different um, things that we do. Like, so we hear from our board members, and again, our board members are mostly autistic people. Um, we hear from people in the community about things that are important to them, and then we'll take those um, those uh, bits of feedback that we get, and we'll have a meeting, and we'll say, "Look, we heard from our board that this is really important. We heard from the community that this is really important. What can we do about it?" Um, and there are a few things actually that I forgot to mention just now that. Um, we've been really hearing from our community on that we're going to be trying to do stuff on. Um, Can you give us yeah. one example? One example. Um, there is a child in Virginia um, who is 11 years old and he's autistic and he wasn't getting the right kinds of services in school so he got upset and he, um, you know, he started acting out but not in a way that is is very different from a lot of autistic people. Uh, he kicked a trash can and he went into the hallway when the teacher didn't want him to go in the hallway. Um, and instead of treating it like, okay, this kid has a disability, let's give him some more supports, they arrested him and they're trying to um, charge him with a crime uh, for being out in the hallway and kicking a trash can. So we're arguing, you know, this is not how to treat kids. Uh, we think it's a really big problem, um, not just in this case, but we think that there are a lot of cases like that, and we want to see what we can do to stop schools from arresting kids. Okay, that's so important. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that I miss or you would like to share with our audience? Um, I think I just really want to uh, say how exciting it is that people with disabilities are setting their own goals for policy, right? That we are having these conversations, that we're holding our own, that we're speaking up, and we're really being heard more and more in Washington. I think that's great. Great. Thank you, Sam. And thank you. Um, If you have any questions or about this or any other policy issues, please go to the AUCD web webpage and look for this week's in brief. And if you have any questions or comments about this week's edition of Tuesdays with Liz, please leave them in the space below. Thank you, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks and bye. And thank you again for, for thank talking you with again. us. Bye. Bye.